Close your eyes. <laughs> 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 you look amazing. Why do you look you so look young? Amazing. Do you age? <laughs> you got a lot of names. <laughs> hey, mama, you See, know. you live here now? Yeah, I just Yay. moved here. I just moved here. You Are look you? amazing. You look like you're 25. Well, I haven't made it yet, so okay. I got to move. That's why. <laughs> you look fabulous. 24. Look at you, mom. Thank you. Man, so this is good to see you. It's, so good it's all the you love in the air. Hey, what's up, George? How you doing? I'm from Chicago. I'm from Chicago. Yeah, you see the That's right. Tony Richards. There you go. Connection. 103. There you go. Look With George and What's up, girl? Look at God. What? There you go. There you go. Look at you. And, and, and Sasha, right? Sasha. And then all started because Sasha made one phone call. <laughs> I said, "You want to do a syndicated show together?" <laughs> and here we t. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We got Baby. Selena Johnson. Hey, hey. home girl. Girl, first of all, let me oh. just say that uh, you already yes. fine and beautiful, well, but yeah. good God, I'm trying to. How much weight did you lose? Anybody. Well. For, when I did my competition December 7th of last year, I lost 50. It was like 55. Nice. Wow. Nice. Wow, incredible. But I went about 15, you know, a couple of cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had, you had earned it by I, then. I, I earned them. I did. <laughs> um, but I am back training again because I have another one in April. Okay. Right. So it's, it'll be easier this time because I'm coming from a, a smaller canvas, obviously, and so I can get leaner and come in. So you did the weight loss for the competition, not for no health reasons or anything like that, okay? Although I was a cookie or two. Okay, all right. <laughs> Them cookies are good. Yes. yes. And what people don't understand, too, is when you do bodybuilding training, people don't walk around at that weight all day. No, right. No, they no, do no. just for the competition, and they bloom back up a little bit, but they still maintain. Yeah, but the it's discipline that it yeah. takes, yeah. you know, to – Rick showed me some of the, the pictures. I didn't even know you was uh, competing – yeah, I mean it's just incredible. That's the discipline that it has to take to to take your hard. body that way has got to be a, a it was, lot. It was very hard because I was touring and traveling. I went to Africa, and that's mm -hmm. tough. Starting off the woman tour because not just because of the you know trying to eat right on mm -hmm. the road, but because you can find what I would do is find um I would find chefs in the different cities, or you always find a Whole Foods. You good. yeah, but it was the flying and the swelling, mm -hmm. and so it was hard to get back down because you would. Land and then it takes you about a week to just get the swelling down wow. and the stress. You know, you could be stressed out and bloom, you know, blow up. So it was very, very scientific. Everything that was going on, it wasn't just about eating right and exercising. You had to get proper sleep. You had to have certain amounts of water. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a whole thing. When you have the pause from competition to competition, then how is your eating and training then, or do you just? pull back until you're getting ready for the next competition so you don't swell back up. Well, I'm going to travel. There's nothing I can do. And travel just, you know, if you all haven't mm -hmm. had enough water, yeah. your ankles will be swollen, and you go to bed, and then it's over. Right. But um, so after my competition, I had to go right to Africa, a week out, like a couple of days after that. And so I just allowed myself to rest, my body mm -hmm. rest. I didn't work out for a week because I had been working out straight for eight months. Right. So I just didn't work out for a week, and I just kind of did my thing. And then I went into a maintenance program, which is like the same kind of eating, mm -hmm. but you get a little bit more food and then your training still, but not as egregious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're just kind of chilling like regular. Mm -hmm. Then as you get closer and you have to take pictures each week and send them to your coach, as you get closer, he fix and pace things as you know, according to what he's saying. Okay, we need to bring in our, le oh, wow. get our legs down. We need to get, you know, we need to get our shoulders right. up, you know, whatever. So then he'll... So it's spot train. Yeah. 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 yeah, the spot train. So, so you, you don't uh, spot train, so right. to speak, but mm. you focus. On certain body parts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, in 2018, you had a book called The Wait Is Over. Yes. You became an author. Did you see in your mind that in two, two, uh, 2019 that you be right there, that you be training? And I knew that I wanted to do this. Right. But I didn't know that I was going to just be like, you know what? We're doing it. Uh -huh. so, you know, I have been wanting to do uh, do a comp compete for since I was maybe twenty one. Uh -huh. You know, um, the first trainer that I that uh, that I became you know intrigued by the whole sport. He was a fitness competitor and he was training other people, and so I was like, man, that's dope. You know, then a, a little later on, I had another trainer that was a fitness competitor. And I was like, man, I want to do it. And he was like, you ain't gonna have time to do it. So I was kind of discouraged. But then you know how when you turn forty, I'm okay with my. Mm -hmm. When you turn 40, you start to say, I don't want to be 70, 
or 80 and feel like can't even walk to do that. Yeah. Or, right. I didn't, or I don't get a chance to do that. I need to do it all, do all the things that I want to do in this lifetime. You know what I'm saying? You just have to try. You just have to try. You what's gonna happen if you don't fit? You fail. Okay, you you fail, but at least you try. Not so. to not to harp on the way, yes. but when you oh, originally God. when you originally like years ago decided when it wasn't about training, it was when it was just a lifestyle change, and you mm-hmm. was like, man, I want to get myself looking different because you know I've been knowing you for yes. many many years, many years. And just performing, always been phenomenal. Was this a, is that a difference from when you uh, lost the weight the very first time and said, hey, I want to just lose the weight and not yeah. just be competitive yeah. or whatever? Yeah, because um, back then I didn't know how to eat. So mm. when you're an entertainer, it's, okay, here comes a photo shoot. Got to get skinny for that. Yeah. Got to come down for that. Oh, I get a tour. Got to get ready for Unhealthy. that. Unhealthy. You know, it's very, whatever, yeah. it, whatever it takes to get it wasn't down. A, it wasn't a lifestyle change. No, it's not a life. It wasn't a lifestyle moment. change. And it wasn't about muscle. Mm-hmm. I um, love muscle. You know, I like to have muscle. I think muscle is sexy on women. I right. think me personally. And she has it, guys. I and, felt it. And, but and me personally, I don't want to be like, you know. Masculine. Like, yeah. Know, right? And but that's what most women think they're going to be. Good. They're going to yeah, look like that, not, but you're not. Yeah. No. You've worked on a lot of them muscles, I must say. I do. <laughs> I do. I the backside is fabulous, Gary. All right yeah. now. But How's your husband feel about everything? He's excited and inspired. Good. Um, okay. And he was like almost in tears when Aww. I hit the stage. And he used to do all my baths and he would give me massages. Nice. And, because my husband's an ex professional athlete. Mm-hmm. Okay. He won Gears. Yeah. Played in the NBA, you know, Chicago legend. You yes. know, he won. Yeah. So, as an athlete who does ice baths and baths mm-hmm. and Epsom salt baths and, con- you know, he lit, that was his life. This was just, you know, he was excited, like, oh, I know how to do this. Right. Oh, you mm-hmm. need to do this. And I can help my wife. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm right. talking about I'll be uh, waking up in the middle of the night, two, three in the morning. Ah! Wow. Oh, Help me. <laughs> All right, this is what we gotta do. We're gonna go get some water. We're gonna get a banana. You know, it was a fool. It was a fool. Well, I gotta tell you, um, Congratulations on that. Mm. I watch you all the time. Yeah, when are you guys coming to Sister Circle? Just, to... Whenever you invite us. Wait a minute. Well, can the brothers us. come to Sister Circle? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I have already stated. Okay, I guess. These two. I mean, okay. now clearly. Okay. I mean, well, see, we've been waiting for George to come. We've been working us for a minute, but he's finally here, so now we can come. Yeah, we're yes. coming now. Uh, yeah. we, you guys need to come to Sister Circle. You do yeah. a good Seriously. job at that table. And what I love the most, sometimes you just sit back and just give the look of, what are you talking about? Well, you're keeping you it just real. Let the people yes. say what they're going to say. Yeah. And just yeah. let it marinate. We don't. We all have different opinions, mm-hmm. and even if you want to jump in and interject or disagree, sometimes it's not the time for that. And sometimes, so what? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you might feel that way, but so what? It's their moment. It's their time, and you just have to understand. You guys know when you work in an ensemble, mm-hmm. you know you have to be considerate. You have Absolutely. To care about what other people yeah. think and say. Absolutely. The ladies, um, you know, I saw it on Atlanta Housewives, but I know you individually. Are you all really as close as you say you are? Sasha, we really yeah. are as close nice. as you, we, we, we appear. Yeah. Mm. When we come on that platform, we are in sync. Yeah. Um, when we're off the platform, You're in we sync. are in sync. Yeah. Now, awesome. we're very different. Doesn't mean that we walk around just, you know, my buddy, you know. Oh, no <laughs> disagreement. But we really care yeah. about each yes, other. Yes, but we we are all at a place in our lives where we're not at, we're not interested in disagreeing or arguing with each other. Mm-hmm. It's nothing to do that about. You know what I'm saying? It's we don't we're, we're not every day all day. I mean, all day together, every day like people think. Right. You know, whereas in a reality television setting, they're being forced to be put together, even if they don't feel like right. it. You know, we already know we have our couple of hours together. We, we spend time celebrating each other. We have enough things going on in our lives where we don't need to come here and have a bad time. Mm-hmm. Right. We're going to go home in our own lives, and we're going to have to deal with opposition there. So why not create an environment the best way we can to enjoy each other, to laugh, to have fun? We have a very close family sister circle with our pro- our producers. That's nice. Our, our makeup. You know, and we're, we're working in a lack, like low that. key. So yeah. actually, sometimes when you had a lack, you really get close and work mm-hmm. together, you know. So, it's a it's a family. It's very good. So, Selena, today is the day that you release your tenth album, Ooh, Woman. Yes. Are yes, we excited girl. about yes. this? Yes. Woo. 
Oh, it's a really, it's almost 13. But okay, but it's fine. It's fine. Right, right, right. County. Right. Um, <laughs> we are. Yes. So tell us about this album. This album is called Woman. Uh-huh. We are in the year of the woman, the era of the woman, the age yes. of the woman, and being a, a, on an all female talk show host platform, I have dis- I have discovered the inadequacies and inequalities that are going on with women. Um, the fact that our voice is not being heard, it's not being appreciated, we're being rejected and disregarded, and so this album is is an attempt, you know, with what little old me can do to be able to give some type of voice from a passionate musical standpoint. That's that's what I do. That's my gift. And um, just kind of blow the whistle, you know, and, and and come from a woman's point of view. Some of the things that this this society is missing on us from legislation on down. You already know what we're dealing with in this this country as far as women are concerned. So this um, this album is is for us, but it's for us to communicate with everyone else. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like, oh, men can't listen. It's actually low key, you will get to really eat off of this album because it's enlightening for you. Yeah. Well, I didn't really think of it that way. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, women feel like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. So it's it's a learning tool for everyone. It's mm-hmm. a it's a venting session, but a learning tool for men as well. Right. And I love it too because so many women have been um in that closet afraid to speak up. Yes. And we don't need you to be afraid anymore. No. We support you, we surround you, and you do have a voice and you need to be heard. Thank you. And we all do. So do yes. you. Let, let okay. me ask you yes. this. Yes. High five sis. Okay. Boom. Selena, how many people or do you often get uh asked any questions about Rob? Do you get oh I mean God, R. Kelly and Josh, I we all I know you get them. Every 15 seconds. Yeah. If you're from Chicago, you can't survive without going anywhere, without being. I know you get them. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it don't matter. If you're from Chicago, yeah. you, you can't go question. nowhere without being asked about R. Kelly. Um, listen, guys, we're from Chicago. He was a Chicago hero for us. Absolutely. Right. And the, the one thing that I can say is don't take responsibility for the actions of someone just because you love their music. Mm-hmm. That's not your responsibility. That's no. not you didn't do it just right. because you love the music and the music should still be what it was for you then because you received it in a pure place. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that when you're from Chicago, you feel responsible. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And people try to blame me. Was you there? You knew. Right. <laughs> and what did you say back? You knew him. Then, I right. was just at hey. the house. I know, right. You're right. I mean, you're right. I was my boy, right. but I didn't know but all I that. know all I know, that was right. going on. Yeah, what you want me to right. do? Right. I couldn't right. free nobody. Right. I didn't know no. <laughs> I didn't have no keys. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm just listening to tunes, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, it's tough, but it's it's just it's hard all around because you just think of this body of work that is now tainted. Music that we grew up on, that we love, that I we know. associated with happiness and peace and growth and elevation, and now where are we? Mm. You know? Well, she's on Sister Circle Monday through Friday, 12 new. Yes. Uh, new album, 13th. Yes. It's called Woman. Yes. Y'all, it is Selena Johnson. Yes.